Danielle, absolutely incredible effort. Incredible win, physically, mentally, to be able to pull that off. Tell this crowd how you were able to do that. I am uh, so destroyed right now. <laughs> I, uh, I honestly, I, not that I ran out of gas, but I was feeling very tough physically at the end of the second set already. So I was like, okay, need to try to, to stay tough, break in the force, but he played good. I don't even, don't even go tough on myself. Four set, I'm just no more concentration out. And I'm like, okay, I just have to, to try my best to do whatever I can. And let's see, if I lose, I lose, I go home and uh, it's okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm happy that like this, I managed to win and I really like the match point. <laughs> The other day you gave a master class with Jim Courier on the court about returning. You talked about playing, I think, Berrettini, the big servers. You need to move back by a little time. Suddenly you come out today and you're standing a lot closer. Were you trying to throw her cash off like he saw that and suddenly you changed your court positioning? No, it was funny because after on the press conference they were also asking me about the return and they were like, when are you gonna, when do you decide sometimes to go forward and do you, are you gonna decide it? And in my mind, I knew that against Hubert, amazing servant volley, his ball is actually, he's probably the only one where the ball, even if I stay really far back, it continues to go up, so it never really goes down. So I'm like, mm, doesn't really work to stay there. So talking to Jim, talking in the press conference, I was like, I know next match I'm gonna stay close, but I'm not gonna tell it to you guys right now. <laughs> so, little surprise here and there, I'm, I'm happy that it uh, kind of worked. Then you went back, though, like toward this third, fourth set, and then in the fifth set, you moved forward again, and then you started coming in. You actually served and volleyed on a couple of huge points and started coming to net. What was that about? Um, it's everything together because sometimes the way Hubi plays, he kind of, kind of like me sometimes, to give himself time, he puts the ball up a little bit. It's very risky to go to the net, but sometimes you're gonna you're gonna have to do it. And here, I, I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm playing against a win. If, if we start the point, I didn't feel like I have enough uh, enough to win this point. So I was like, same. I do serve in volley. I lose. I, I fly home tomorrow. So <laughs> that's sometimes, uh, honestly, that's sometimes how I think on the court with Rusevori. Uh, after second set, I was uh, I was on the court and I was like, damn, it's already like two in the morning. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch a six, uh, six uh, hour flight tomorrow in the evening. So I was like, I'm going to have to tell my wife that I'm probably going to stay one day in Australia. And finally, one week later, we are talking to you and I'm here two days after. So yeah, sometimes uh, different mentality. You've got to be a little upset at the organizers. This past even week, you played to four in the morning. You played in the heat of the day the other day. You're playing the heat of the day today. Can you ask the organizers to give you a little love here? Where is Craig? Where is Craig? Monique has, Monique has nothing to do with it. Monique is the best. But uh, no, I think uh, it's all fine because uh, four in the morning, tough, tough, uh, tough situation. But honestly, they start two matches at 12. It was like girls played like three hour 30. Then Alcaraz played four hours. So it was like almost on purpose from them, from the, uh, from the tennis players. <laughs> But uh, I like this tournament. Uh, I had some tough moments here, for sure. But uh, I love it. I'm happy to be here. Thank you guys for the support. Last, last couple of questions. I, I read where I think you went to math school. Is that true? So you obviously understand geometry. So you stand way back. You understand that you have to run a lot more than the other player, right? But you're willing to do that. Is that correct? Yeah, I think in US Open they have the stats uh, where they show uh, meters ran per point. <laughs> and you look all the matches, even Alcaraz who kind of can play long points. And I don't remember the numbers exactly, but uh, let's say, I don't know, let's say uh, 15 uh, meters, feet, whatever. And then you look my matches, 25 per, uh, per match. But same for me and my opponent. So I think every time I play, uh, it's tough, both for me and my opponent. And uh, this, uh, this uh, Australian Open, I managed to win uh, four sets, five sets, two times. So uh, happy to make my opponents run, happy to run myself. Finally, where is it?
Will you give a little love to your, because sometimes he takes a lot of flack in, the, in that coaching box. Give a little love. He's been with you a long time for Jill Savar, your coach. He's done a great job for you. He deserves some kudos. I, I, I give it up to the match. I send, the, I send them kisses. Uh, it was probably the first time in my life I did it. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it again. But uh, look, I, uh, he knows uh, how much I love working with him. Otherwise, we would not be together. I hope he loves working with me too. Uh, but I will ask uh, you guys to give, uh, to give uh, all my team love. They do great work. So some applause for him and they're gonna, for them and they're going to be happy. Daniel Medvedev promises to kiss you on the lips if he wins the Australian Open. Give it up for Daniel Medvedev. On to the semifinals.